So this is a model of mycosahedron that consists of 20 different subsections. These are uh, irregular tetrahedrons. They're connected by magnets and can be rearranged in various ways. The one face is an equilateral triangle and then the other three faces are isosceles faces. Here's an example of a, you know, a puzzle, more like a Rubik's Cube puzzle, that when solved and viewed by any one of the vertices, you can see a unique color. In this case, each of the sections have a unique color coding. Where you've got three of poss 12 possible colors, which results in about 80 million possibilities. So a number represented by 20 faces represent a very large number, which I think is 80 million, 80 million to the power of 20. I'll show you more examples in a second. So in addition, addition to being joined by face-to-face -face coupling, I've got hinges now between some of these subsections, which allows the edge to stay engaged. Now you can get the basically somewhat of a a helix effect with a string of these sections. When twisted one way, they'll form this kind of a wagon wheel design. And when twisted the other way, it makes yet another sort of helix. And what I did notice that the sort of the natural tendency and these are linked edge to edge, that alternately you get a face to face coupling. I'll show you more this in more detail in a second. You know, this is a st string of 10 sections, and another five can be joined on each side. It's just kind of got five section cap to get back to your initial. Tetrahedron, uh, like quasihedron. Um, these wagon wheels can also be stacked together to form you know, a, a tower. And I'll show you another variation of this in a second. So here is the first tower I showed you, it's consisting of uh, five of these wagon wheel sections. This looks like an identical tower, but it's actually constructed a little differently. And I can demonstrate by taking out a section. I'm just going to unravel a section. And now I've actually pulled out one of five helix. So if you look at this, this is a a pentahelix, or a quintuple helix, consisted of five strands, of which this is one of them, and that's got one twist to it, and I can untwist it, or unravel it, to form that wagon wheel pattern we saw earlier. And in this case, you'll notice that these two sections are coupled by face-to-face -face coupling, then a, then a wedge, another face-to-face, -face, and another edge, and then that continues the alternate connections. And I can put this back in the original section, like a strand of DNA to some extent. back in there you know, and any other section here could be taken out or actually I can just even partially unravel it make this sort of palm tree design and unravel it a bit more again this is just five strands of this helix and I'll just 
strip the back of it again. And in addition, to make this a more stable design, these caps could be inserted on both sides. And it's just constructed in a slightly different way. Now let me show you another sub-module design I'll be using. So this is a sub-module of five sections range in this Pentagon design and I want to hinge two of these together so I can make larger structures so I'm going to do this by removing each of the sections on both of them here I've got a pair of sections that are hinged together and then I'm going to place them so that now two of these can be linked together and form larger structures and let me show you what that will turn into 12 of those can be linked together to create this tricontahedron where you've got 20 of these uh, sorry 30 of these diamond shaped faces now if I can find where I can open this So now I can unhinge it and unravel and now it opens up a bit like a crystal inside. Now I'm going to basically turn it inside out. Now, this is, I guess you call it a star-rated icosahedron of some sort. And we'll reverse the process. Flip it back the other way. original tricontahedron.